The first one to sit in it. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Perfect. So about four years ago, we started with a farmer's market stand downtown, and we were selling baked goods, pastries, things like that. We were living just a few blocks away and really wanted a way to get involved in the community, and we love food, we love to bake, and really feel like that's a way we can give back and care for people through food. So we thought, well, let's open a stand. So the market was a really great place for us to build a foundation. When we first started, we had no intention of actually opening our own business. We just wanted a creative outlet and a way to be involved in the community. But once we saw what the demand was, and there was this huge demand that just kept increasing, we thought, man, there's really a market for this. It'd be cool if we could explore whether or not we could make it a brick and mortar full time. And what's been great about watching this grow throughout the years is that a lot of our vendors really take advantage of the opportunity. Uh, they're able to uh, take the, the profits, uh, since the margin is so low, and actually be able to reinvest in themselves and in businesses. So the people at MCAT have been fantastic. The different market coordinators and everybody involved in pulling off the farmer's market have been so supportive, and we've really felt like we had a network there that we could lean on, and they've been really encouraging and really empowering. We wouldn't be here without the farmer's market. We could have never gotten started like this without that four years of, of building that brand, building the customer base. It was a great place for us to experiment and to learn, and we were really thankful for the farmer's market for giving us that opportunity. Now you see why? I told you I am a cancer survivor. Um, after chemotherapy, I needed skin relief uh, from the dryness and uh, after going through multiple dermatologists in town, I decided to make my own skin care. Uh, because I am a nurse, I did have knowledge of uh, several ingredients. My husband brought up the, the local farmer's market. We had never been there. And when we went, we, we fell in love with it, and we decided to be a part of the farmer's market. We started meeting people from all over the world, from different countries, from different cities, um, and before we knew it, our product was going internationally. We have definitely seen uh, a lot of our more savvy, uh, I guess business-oriented artists uh, and cottage industry vendors really take advantage of the fact that they can get dedicated space, that they can build a clientele. When we were there at the market, uh, people would always ask us during the week, where can we find you? Um, and we did build a friendship and a partnership with one of the other vendors, uh, which is Rubens Group Photo World. And together we opened up our uh, our shop, which is Monday to Friday, it's a blessing. Going to the farmer's market, you get to meet other vendors who are super talented. You get to meet people from all over the world. 